Hello guys, Dusty here with another YouTube video game pickup video. Yes, we have found more video games. And by the way, I hope you guys liked the last video that I did yesterday. I figured eh, it's just something I can throw together quick. Uh, and yeah, uh, if you want to see more incredibly random stuff like that, let me know in the comments. But I do plan on doing more collection stuff. I do plan on, I actually am planning on uploading a record pickup video tomorrow. Um, so yeah, three days straight in a row, uploads, woohoo! Uh, but yeah, and, uh, let's see, what else do I have planned? Oh, I have, um, I have retrospectives of Super Mario 3D World, uh, Ace Attorney, Justice for All, because I, I finished both of these games, um, and then I finished, I finished, uh, Persona 3, uh, the journey part, not the answer part yet, but we'll get more onto that in the review. And I also beat Ast Astyanax, Asti this game right here. Um, it only took me three years, but I did it. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to be doing retrospectives on all those games at some point. But for now, let's look at the pickups. So, for starters, I have a pickup here that I found under my recliner. Um, so it, it looks to have been from a month ago. I don't remember if I ever showed this in a pickup video. I don't think I did, but I think if I remember correctly, I went into the pawn shop and, um, I, it, it looks like the N64 games were picked through, but I did find, uh, one game that looked, uh, you know, in particular decent. Um, and that was NFL Blitz for the Nintendo 64. Now this is like a $10 game, so I paid $2 for it. Pretty good, and it looks like the date on it was 9 30 2016. So, yeah, um, about a month ago, a little over now, but yeah. And we are out of room for Nintendo 64 games. It's a good problem to have, but it's a problem. We're gonna need to, we're gonna need to redo a lot of this stuff. But yeah, uh, next up, uh, these pickups are from like okay, so these pickups were from, I believe, the day before Thanksgiving. So I was I had to work the day before Thanksgiving and I and I, I I had to work basically until midnight. All right. However, it looked like you know basically I got everything done at around 7:30. So I figured, heck, you know what? 7:30, go to still open. Might as well run over there and see if there. So I didn't have to work until 12. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. But I was scheduled to work until 12. If that makes any sense. So uh, yeah, um, 7:30. I walk into the Goodwill and. Uh, so the, I go to the, um, rack where they keep the DVDs, CDs, and stuff like that, and they had, um, they had the same old, uh, shovelware, sports title, PS1 games, but I saw some games that stood out, um, specifically Crash Bandicoot for the PlayStation 1, and yeah, for a buck, you gotta pick up Crash Bandicoot. It is complete in here, in decent shape, so, I mean, this might even be an upgrade from my copy, because I think, I think I might have two copies that are in the greatest condition, and this one, this one's, you know, it's scratched, but it's a PlayStation 1 game, so, I mean, eh. You can't really do too much better than that as far as PlayStation 1 games go next to, like, if they're perfect and never used. Because the second you use a PlayStation 1 game, I I, I, I have a theory that, I, you know, I've taken PlayStation 1s apart. And, you know, I've, I've studied them, basically. And I have a theory that they have little claws hiding, um, you know, somewhere under the disk drive. And, um, you know, they, they don't, they, sh they hide when you take the console apart, but when you put a game in, they, they come up and start clawing at the disc. Uh, at least that's what I think happens because I don't know. I, I can just never find uh, PlayStation one games in good condition, but anyway, next up we have, uh, a game that it's a game that I had in a variation. I didn't, uh, this is crash bandicoot two, uh, cortex strikes back. And yeah, I actually have this game already. However, I only had the, uh, greatest hits version. In fact, I think I have the case to the greatest hits version up here somewhere that I found at a garage sale. Uh, yeah, or no, this might've came from Goodwill. I'm not sure. But yeah, this is the case of the greatest hits version. But one thing that the greatest hits version does not come with is this holographic, um, this holographic, uh, cover here. It's kind of difficult to um, interpret um, the, the holographic effect uh, on video, but trust me, it's holographic, and it also has a regular manual there, and then the holographic bit's just a card. So, yeah, but pretty cool nonetheless, and the disc is in okay shape, kind of the same story as Crash Bandicoot 2, and yeah, um, all together, pretty all right. I mean, I'll pick up a copy of Crash Bandicoot 2 for a dollar any day of the week. So yeah, this one will be going in the collection for sure. 
if I can if I can get the manual back in. All right. So last but not least, and this this one this one's kind of interesting because it's a game that I didn't have, and there's there's something significant to this. So okay, we got Crash Bandicoot Three Warped, right? This is the game's not warped. The the game is called Warped, by the way. I just want to clarify that. But yeah, it's Crash Bandicoot Three Warped. Um, and the disc's in here, but I noticed something kind of peculiar. Um, this disc came from, the, this game came from Freedom Video. Now, um, that instantly popped into my head, like, uh, you know, familiar, as, as things do sometimes, and, man, I really should have gotten this game out. I'll be right back. Alright, I am back, and, uh, yeah, I found, I found, I found where it was familiar from. These both came from the same place. And now the cool thing about this one, one of the reasons I actually bought this game was because I like places that are businesses that do two different things that have nothing to do with each other and it doesn't make sense to put them together. So when you're trying to sell me a game from Freedom Video and Tanning, I am going to buy it, all right? Now, here's the crazy thing. I found this one at the pawn shop about a year ago and I found this one just recently at the Goodwill. I looked into Freedom Video, or Freedom Video and Tanning, and it turns out it is in a town called Freedom, Wisconsin, 400 miles away from here, or six hours away uh, if you were to drive. So yeah, two different video games that came from a video rental store, a small video rental store, like this is a small place, it's also a tanning place, but it's, and now it's called DJ Video and Tanning, but I, I did my research, but yeah, isn't that crazy? Two video games came from the same small video game rental store, six hours away at, from separate places in my same town. It, I, I don't know, I think that's kind of th crazy. Um, yeah, you just you don't you don't expect that to happen. I mean, what are the odds, right? Um, two and they ended up two separate places. So I don't know if um these came from originally the same owner or um you know if two people who used to live in Freedom, Wisconsin, moved to my town, brought these video games with them, and then one donated it to the Goodwill and one um sold their game to the pawn shop, or if the same one donated one to the Goodwill or pawn. Anyway, it's just it's kind of interesting to me. Um, but yeah. We, we got Crash Bandicoot 3, and uh, a a cool little bit of my collection, and kind of a serendipitous pickup, I suppose. So next up, um, we've got the next pickup on the list, of course, which is my only Black Friday pickup. Yes, this pickup is from Black Friday. The kind of story, okay, this is the story. There was a couple games I wanted from Black Friday, but me, I, I, I don't like to go in immediately. So I, you know, I wait a couple hours until, you know, the crazy people who um, bludgeon each other to death with purses um, get all the way through. And then, and then I go ahead and go in and see what I can find. So I pick through the leftovers. I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of like a vulture. But anyway, um, it's not a very nice thing to call myself. Anyway, <laughs> so I, I, I went into Target. And there was one game I wanted from Target, all right? And uh, it turned out they were out, all right? But while me and my sister were walking to the store, through the store, because she found some stuff there, um, while we were walking through the store, I saw on a random table, you know, just not, not near the video games at all, I saw the game I was looking for. And that game was Kirby's Planet Robo Bo 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 uh, Yeah, or Kirby's Planet Robo Bo uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, I found it just on a table lying down, so I immediately just grabbed it, and, um, yeah, I bought it. 25 bucks. Uh, but I had a Target gift card from last Christmas, so 15 bucks. So 15 bucks, I figured that's good enough. I, I, I was contemplating if buying it on release, but I figure I just have so many games on the, uh, backlog that... It, does, it, it doesn't make sense to buy new games that I'm not going to play immediately at this point. But yeah, we managed to find Kirby's Planet Robobot for all of $15. I figure that's a pretty good price to pay for it. So we're going to try to fit this on the shelf here. Yeah, we are we are padding out the 3DS collection quite a bit. Whoa. Uh, with Pokemon Sun and Moon there, which I'm actually, I'm actually getting pretty far through Pokemon Sun. We might have a retrospective of, of that soon. Um, because I've been playing the game so much, and it is fantastic so far, but um, I'll talk a little bit more about it when I get to the actual retrospective. So, next up, um, our pickups from the pawn shop. So yeah, I went to, into the pawn shop, um, 
I think it was about a week ago from today, I think. Um, yeah, a little lull in the pickups, but they kind of picked up at the pawn shop. Um, and I think somewhere in between this time, too, I'd actually bought a new pair of speakers. So, you know, I, I didn't go completely without buying anything. And also during this time, my heater broke. So, yeah, my furnace uh, quit working. Um, however, that is now fixed. Uh, it turned out being my igniter, so it was kind of, it, w it was less expensive than it could have been, so awesome. Uh, and that's kind of what, that's kind of the news that let me say, okay, now I can buy these speakers because I don't have to replace a furnace. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, so I went into the pawn shop and they have this shelf where they keep their PlayStation 2 and Xbox games and sometimes their Wii games, sometimes not their Wii games, and GameCube games. Uh, <laughs> what GameCube games? Yeah, I, I haven't found GameCube games in like the past six months at least. And I've probably found, I can probably count on, at, I'd say two hands, how many GameCube games I've found this year. But, um, they had some PlayStation 2 and, uh, Xbox games. So, I figured I'd go ahead and grab a couple of the ones that look more interesting. So for starters, we managed to pick up, because how do you get, by the way, all of these were two bucks. How do you pass up? A copy of Resident Evil 4 for two bucks. I mean, it, it's missing the manual. It's not in the greatest of shape, uh, you know, like case-wise. I think the disc is decent, um, isn't it? Uh, it looks like it's been resurfaced, but it looks fine. Uh, but yeah, two bucks. I figure this is this is a good trade piece. This is a good this is a good game to wear as a hat, put on display. Um, you know, play fetch with the dog. I I don't know, but yeah, Resident Evil 4. Oh, there's deep. Oh, oh. Another duplicate. So, next up, we've got a game that I'm kind of excited about because I'm not sure if I have this for the PlayStation 2 in the case, and if I do, I'm not sure if I have the Greatest Hits version. You know what, maybe I should look into some of these stuffs, these stuffs, these things before I shoot my YouTube videos. But anyway, for $2, and this is, this is quite a steal for $2, we managed to pick up, I picked up the wrong one, uh, Star Wars Battlefront for the PlayStation 2. So yeah, Star Wars Battlefront, PlayStation 2, I know I have it on the Xbox original. Um, I have both a Greatest Hits copy in a regular case and a Greatest Hits copy in a Greatest Hits case, I believe, for the Xbox, uh, the original Xbox, excuse me. But um, I did not have it for the PlayStation 2 before. So yeah, and it's in great condition, just in good shape from what I recollect. So yeah, this one will be going in the collection. I'm not even sure if I have this in the case for the PlayStation 2. I'm not even sure if I have it for the PlayStation 2 now that I think about it, because I think I think the game that I have in the case, I mean, not in the case for the PlayStation 2, is Star Wars Battlefront 2, which is actually a really exciting pickup for the PlayStation 2, because they used to, the Battlefront games used to just be expensive on the Xbox, now they're starting to become expensive on the PlayStation 2, so I figure I'll grab these while I can. And yeah, they're in pretty good shape. Somebody wrote their initials or name or something on the disc. However, disc is in good shape. Light scratches, but whatever. And of course, the manual is in good shape. So, two bucks. How do you pass that up? And we are we are basically out, 100% out of um, space. So, fun. Uh, next up, we got some Xbox games, too. They also had some Xbox games uh, at the same time. So I figured I'd pick up some of the exclusives because I've been looking for any Xbox original exclusives because I'm thinking I'm thinking when um, these Xbox 360 individuals, um, you know, people who were raised on the Xbox 360, you know, this console right here, um, when they get older and they get nostalgic, they're going to want to go before the Xbox 360 and go to the Xbox. I don't know, maybe that's something they'll want to do. Um, or, you know, maybe maybe somebody will see the great, co uh, great you know, titles on the Xbox original that were only Xbox original titles and start collecting the Xbox. Who knows, it could be as big as the GameCube. But, uh, nonetheless, I figure I'd just grab all the exclusives while I still can. So, for starters, we have Deus Ex Invisible, uh, Invisible Man, which apparently, um... The new Day of Sex game just came out recently, and I've heard it's pretty good. This one got a 9.1 from Xbox, Ma Editor's Choice Official Xbox Magazine. So, you know, you, you couldn't think they were biased at all, um, being Xbox Magazine. They gotta, they gotta be, you know, straight up reporters. Um, yeah. Day of Sex, Invisible War. It's in good shape. It has, it has, um, a website URL advertisement for a band called The Kidney Thieves, which I actually looked into, and it turns out The Kidney Thieves have broke up recently. However, two of their men members just kick-started a new album. So, hey. I, I like to see where things end up, and I like I like seeing, uh, you know, interesting events play out. Yeah. 
Um, and I am out of room for Xbox original games, so I'm just gonna stack this on top of there. Next up, we've got Kingdom Under Fire Heroes for the original Xbox, and it is complete, good shape. What more can you ask? Two bucks. Of course. And last but not least, we got the game Mech Assault, which is another Xbox exclusive. I'd actually heard of this game, but I'm not sure if it's any good or not. I have just heard of it. Um, I've not heard much about it, but I've heard of it, and it is complete good condition, so two bucks. Not too bad of a price to pay for any complete, you know, non-sports game for the Xbox, I think. All right, well, I think that concludes this pickup video. I actually have enough pickups in front of me to shoot another pickup video, so I'm going to be doing that tonight. So if I'm wearing the same shirt and pants in the next video game pickup video, um, it's not because I've been wearing these for about, you know, any period of time in which, uh, the interval of time in which I'm releasing both of these away from each other. But, um, you know, I'm just shooting these in a batch because it, it makes it a little bit easier. But anyway, this has been Dusty. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Take it easy. It didn't stop. The recording didn't stop. Let's try this again.